Hey, students. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope everyone's doing okay. I'm sitting here by the ocean. Can you hear it? You can hear the ocean? No, I'm not really by the ocean. I'm actually sitting in my house. Just like you're sitting in your house. You know, it's been very hard, right? We're all stuck in our houses. And we can't really go out and do anything. And besides, this is not Canada. Canada right now, it's March. There's snow. There's ice. It's cold. So we can imagine. We can imagine that we're somewhere warm and peaceful and it makes us feel good, right? You can put a place like this in your mind. I bet you could write about it. Another thing you can do to make yourself feel good, students, is you should uh, text each other. Or go on um, Skype or FaceTime or something like this. Talk with your family. Talk with your um Cousins and people like this who are far away that you don't get to see. Wow, there's a big wave. Talk, talk with, uh, talk with your friends on the computer and on your phone. But keep in touch with each other, okay? Because uh, you know I don't want you to feel sad and I don't want you to be lonely. And sometimes we can make ourselves feel a little bit happier when we just imagine. All right. Anyway, uh, I thought we would get going on today's lesson. Today's lesson is kind of um, special. It's really uh, the first lesson in a series. Um, I'm, I want you, as does Miss Dudley and Miss Belanger, we, we want you to stay in contact with us uh, on the internet. And I'm going to teach you how to do that today. So um, one thing that I have done that's kind of silly is I have enrolled my dog Kaylee in uh, our classes. I know she's a dog Mr. Steele. She can't learn math like you and I. She's a dog Mr. Steele. She doesn't know English. Well, you're right. She she knows a little English. She knows Kaylee stay. She knows Kaylee sit. She knows Kaylee wait. She also know, knows, okay, she knows that word. And she also knows, uh, rah! She knows, when I say that, she knows I'm mad, upset at something she's done. So, um... She does know a little bit of English, but in our class, hopefully she'll learn some English with us. Um, this is Kaylee. Let me show you how I will enroll, uh, or how Kaylee will enroll herself, how she will access the homework. So the first thing Kaylee needs to do is know what her uh, email is. Kaylee actually has an email, just like you have an email. And if you can't remember what your email is, what you need to do is look on the package that uh, we gave you before Corona shut down the schools, before spring break. Uh, remember you got that when you came into the school to clean out your locker. Okay, you got a package and it had your email and your passwords and stuff on it. So uh, you're going to go to open up Google Chrome Right. Um, if you if you share your computer with a bunch of other people, this is what you'll see usually, right? Something like this. Otherwise, if it's brand new, your computer will probably look like this. Okay. So the first the first step um, is to go to Google. Right. You go to uh, Google.ca. Google.ca. All right. Um, I'll, I'll just do it with you together. Google, let's see, Google.ca. I don't need it in caps, but so it looks like that. Okay. 
there is a a blue sign in button over here on the right hand side of the screen see up here in the top right that's what you want to see when you go to google.ca you're going to click on that button okay it's going to take you to a page that probably doesn't look like that it'll probably look like this okay so then what you will do is you will put in your email now I'm going to type in Kaylee's email. Kaylee's email. Oh, there's her email right there. There we go. So Kaylee is trying to get in. Now she needs to put her password in. So let's see if I can remember Kaylee's password. her password yes so now Kaylee this is Kaylee's Google uh, account right here's Kaylee's face you can do this too when you have your Google account you can put a nice picture of yourself or you can put a picture of maybe you have a pet or maybe you like soccer or maybe you like cars or maybe you like flowers you can put a picture up here that represents you it is like something that you like you can put it in there and then uh, every time you go on to Google this picture will come up when you've signed it okay the next step is to click on this square here see the square made of little squares three this way and three that way that's nine little squares click on that and in Google, now that you're in your your uh, your Google account, you're going to look for the Google Drive. Google Drive. It's this uh, triangle here. It's green and yellow and blue. Click on that. Okay. Now you're actually in your your own Google Drive. It says My Drive. But what I want you to do, students, the work that I post for you, the work that Miss Dudley or Miss Belange posts for you will be inside of your Google Drive, but it will be something that we, the teachers, have shared with you. So you need to click on this over here that says shared with me. These will show you all the different files that your teachers have shared with you. This is where you need to look over here, okay? So look at that. Kaylee has uh, three files in her shared with me drive. The first file that I would like you to look at with me takes us back to before Corona got us all in our houses. Okay, we were still in class together. Do you remember we were working on Canadian landscapes together and you would painted beautiful pictures. You painted wonderful paintings you um, you had a booklet and you had written one prose which is like a short paragraph and one poetry one poem you were working on prose and you were working on poetry do you remember that hopefully you do anyway if you look on your shared with me files see here Kaylee's uh, painting is right here so let's look at her painting. There we go. So there's Kaylee Diamond Dog. That's her name up there. Uh, here is Kaylee's painting. I know. Doesn't look like a mountain, does it? But Kaylee can't really paint now. No, she has no opposable thumb. Sorry. So she made a she made a print right on her paper. But then down below, down here. This is what you have too. So on your uh, landscape, you will have your painting up here. And then down below, there are two boxes, one here and one here. This one is for prose. This one is for poetry. Prose is the kind of writing that you know a little bit about. Uh, every Monday and Tuesday at school, we always did our journals right? That's a form of prose. Um, 
when you read a book. Most of the books that you read are prose. Prose has to have good grammar. Prose has to have good spelling. Prose has to have capitals in the right places. Um, um, and one sentence, and then another sentence, and then another sentence. All the sentences go together in a block, and the block is called a paragraph. Okay? Stories are written in prose. Poetry is quite different. In poetry, do you remember what we said about that? Poetry doesn't have to have any rules. It can have rules. It can rhyme, for instance. Right? But poetry doesn't have to have rules. It doesn't have to have good spelling. It doesn't have to have good grammar. It doesn't have to have sentences. Prose has to have sentences. Poetry does not. So here, Kaylee worked on her workbook. She uh, turned to the back page and she filled her fairy ring with all of the wonderful descriptive words uh, to make her poem. So then she took those words inside of the fairy ring and she made a poem right here for us. And I'm going to read it to you. Now, one thing, of course, Kaylee doesn't know English, so this is in dog language. Woof, woof. Bark, bark, bark. Wag, wag, wag her tail, right? Wag, wag. Wag, 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 wag. Earth, earth. Bow. Wow. And that's Kaylee's poem. And do you see how Kaylee uh, made her poem look? You can do this too. So take your words and you can arrange them. You can put them in any order that you want. You can put them here, you can put them there, you can put them here, you can put them there. You can put them all over the place. Look how crazy it is. Some of Kaylee's words are in the middle, some are on the left, and some are on the right-hand side, right? Sometimes her line is here, and then there's a big space in between, and then there's more words. You can do this, too. And look, sometimes there's... Uh, lower case, sometimes there's upper case. Sometimes the words are very small, the, the, the letters are small. Sometimes the letters are big, see? If you want to make the letters big, here's what you do. You get your letters and you go up to the numbers here. And you can make the numbers bigger. Right now it's 11. What if I make it 30? Oh, see how much bigger it is? So maybe Kaylee likes that, right? Now, if she doesn't like that, if she wants to change it back, she can go back and change it to 11. Or she can just, if she did, um, if she had it at 30, another thing you can do is you can go and hit this undo button. See the undo button? Watch, if I click it, see it turns back to what it was. So here's another thing. I, I want all you students to remember, don't delete your painting. Don't erase this. Don't get rid of this. Keep your painting. But if you accidentally do, say you click on it, and then you hit delete, and you're like, oh, no, where did my, po my painting go? What am I going to do? It's okay. Do not panic. Just go over here to the undo button. See the undo button? And it undoes what you last did, and there's your painting back. See? So Google, uh, Google Drive and Google Docs are very good. So I want you to try to uh, finish your poem, and then you can come and finish your uh, prose. Now, Mr. Steele, I can't remember what my poem was. I can't remember what my prose were. Well, that's why you have to go back to your shared drive. See Kaylee's shared drive? Kaylee's shared drive has her painting. It also has her 
prose and her poetry here. I scanned each one of your books um, and I put it in your Google Drive so that you can find it. Okay, so on your Google Drive, open this up and you will find a copy of both your prose and your poetry. Uh, your poetry words in the fairy ring. And then you can put them, you can take this information and you can put it here and you can put it here. So here's what Kaylee's going to do with her prose. Here's Kaylee's prose. Now Kaylee, again, she can't write, so she just put her paw print in. But, you know, here's what she will do is she will just copy this into here. So, you know, it might be the uh, mountains are beautiful and sharp. I see uh, blue skies and roaring rivers. I feel the crisp wind against my fur. Oof, oof. I smell rabbits everywhere. Because Kaylee's crazy and she can't do anything but sniff. Okay? So she will make a whole entire paragraph that goes down, down, down. Right? It will be a big paragraph. That's what you are going to do too. You will take whatever you wrote here and you will put it here. You will take whatever was in your fairy ring and you will make a nice poem, just like Kaylee's done. Okay? Then the next step after that, maybe you could do a reading for me and Miss Belange and Miss Dudley. Maybe you will read out loud and record your voice and send it to us so that we can hear you say your prose and so that we can hear you say your poetry. So this is very exciting to do. I want you to try your best with the uh, prose and the poetry on the landscape uh, project. Okay, so that's this one and this one. Now, see this up here. This is very important. This is only for my math class, Mr. Steele's math class. But you need to find the agendas. This is the agenda for Mr. Steele's math class. Okay. But you also need to find um, the agenda for your language class. Or if you're in Miss Dudley's um, math class, maybe Miss Dudley will also put um, an agenda on um, Google Drive for you. Okay, but you will find two, right? You will find one for math and you will find one for language on Google Drive. And you need to check it every day, just like in the morning. When you come to class and you see the agenda on the whiteboard, this is like our whiteboard. See, it says, welcome back, lead students. I am glad uh, you found out how to log on to your Google account and to find the shared with me documents in Google Drive. Remember, you can email me at sesteel at cbe.ab.ca if you need extra help or have a question. So you found this and you know how to get a hold of me if you need to ask me a question. Please look at this document each day to see updates. Updates. What are updates? Updates are new things that we will be doing. Okay. Before our spring break, we were studying a unit about order of operations. Then the coronavirus shut down our school. Now we will finish this unit using our phones and computers. This is called online education. Now, this is going to be different for you and for me because I've not taught high school online before. But I know you can do it. You are smart. Yes, you are. Okay, so that is the introduction, but here, watch. 
here's your agenda. Now I will put the dates on here instead of just class one and class two. I just don't know what the dates are right now until I get back to school. But our first class together in math, what I want you to do is on the agenda. How many items are on the agenda? Two, right? One, two. The first item is watch the YouTube video called Lead Order of Operations. So you just go to this link and you click on this link, okay? You watch that. After you've watched that, I need you to try worksheets. Okay, there are some live worksheets that I've made for you and that you will look at page one. Okay, so our topic in class one will be to do with this picture. It will have to do with multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. This is going to be review for you because we did this before we stopped for the break. But maybe by the end of the break, you will have forgotten. Okay, so it's a good review. So watch this video, then go do these worksheets. I'll show you how to do that. So we click on this, go to this, Live Worksheets. Okay, it takes you to a, a screen called Live Worksheets. This is where I go because I'm a teacher. But you and Kaylee will go over here at Students Access. See? So students access. Now, Kaylee's going to put in her uh, username. Okay. Now, for you students, what I have done for you is I have made it so that your usernames for live worksheets in math are your student numbers. Okay, it's just your student numbers. All right. And then here... All you do is you type in Fowler, F-O-W-L-E-R, no capitals, all small, Fowler, okay? So student number here, Fowler here. Okay? So now you find your workbooks. Your workbook and Kaylee's workbook for math in Mr. Steele's class is called Lead Order of Operations Unit. Let's click on it and open it up. Okay, you can see that Kaylee's already finished one of the, the workbook sheets, like one of the worksheets. She's done her first worksheet. It had how many items on it? Ten. There were ten items. She got, oh look, she got these ones wrong here, the red ones. But she got the green ones right. So she got seven out of ten. Okay. If Kaylee wants to see what her right answer, what the right answers were, like she can't figure out the red ones, you go up to the top right of the screen and you click your show right answers. See? So now she can go down, she can see that's what the right answers were. And then she can go and she can go look at her answers. Oh, and there's why mine were wrong. That's why they're different. All right. It's very simple. So, uh, you know, um, if she goes in and she does number two, right, say she's on lesson two, um, she could click on this worksheet and work on page two. All you do is you click inside of the square and you put your answer in. Okay, so maybe Kaylee's answer for this is a uh, seven. Maybe this one is a uh, nine. Maybe this is a uh, sixty. All right. So uh, we could do one. Let's just do the whole thing. Um, then this is a uh, zero. Right. And then she maybe puts a. Uh, 10. Uh, maybe we've got, uh, oh, did, I didn't even do that right. That's supposed to be there. And then this would be what? Right. And say Kaylee gets tired and she doesn't want to do the whole worksheet she, or she has to go and do something. 
She could save it for later. So she could click on save for later. So she can then always come back to her work and finish it. But uh, when when she's finally finished, right, uh, when she clicks the finish button. So the finish button is this one. She clicks it. All these, you know, I didn't finish it, right? So it's all wrong. But these ones here, she got. So she got one, two. Oh, it's only giving her three. Anyway, I'm not sure why that is. But then I, I can actually come through and fix the, uh, I can come through and I can fix the mark. Okay. So that's how, that's how that works for uh, Kaylee. So um, another thing Kaylee can do is she can register her email to get notifications from her teacher. All right. So if Kaylee wants to do that, she just has to put her email in here. So it's D I. Oh, there we go. Diana Kaylee. And then she has to type it in twice because uh, sometimes we make mistakes the first time we type in a a letter, right? The first time we type in our address. Okay. And if they both match, there. Now Kaylee can go back and she can check for new emails from Mr. Steele that, that have to do with her worksheets. Okay, so that's another thing I want you to do. I want you to try the worksheets and also you can register your email with me. And then when you're done, you go to log out. Right? So it's very simple to use. You understand? We'll get more practice with it as the term goes on. And you can watch this video again. But those are the two things. First, um, log on using your student number, and the password is Fowler, no, no capitals, okay? Uh, the second thing you will do is register for your email, okay? Register your email. And then the third thing you will do is just try the worksheets. And you can either save for later, or you can hit the finished, and then the, the computer will count your scores for you, okay? Good. So that's all there is to uh, live worksheets. And you can see through here on our agenda, um, each day there are different pages that you will need to do, right? So on the second day, Kaylee will do pages two and three. On the third day, she will try page four. All right. So if she was to go back in, to live worksheets. Here we go. Student access. Oh, where is it? Right. Here we go. I'm going to type in her address. Like this. Oops. I did that wrong. I must have put. There we go. There we go. Sometimes my fingers don't work. But you can change your email here. But you see up here, uh, she's done worksheet one and worksheet two. This is worksheet three. There's worksheet four, worksheet five, worksheet six. Worksheet 10 is your test. Okay. But uh, that's how you access all the work that you will find on live worksheets for math. And we'll have similar things for morning messages, uh, for journals. We'll have all this stuff, hopefully, on um, live worksheets for you, okay? Okay. So you can see here, this is how um, our week goes. And then at the very end, when you are ready, 
when you've done all the other worksheets and you've prepared yourself, learning about order of operations and integers, you're going to try the worksheets, you're going to practice on IXL. So you go to IXL and then these here, these are the ones that you will practice. Okay, you will log on and then these are the ones that you will try right here. Okay? So I think, I think that's all I have to say to you today, students, because we have done through, we have gone through how to log on your Google, you know how to log on. We've gone through how to do your Canadian landscape project, the prose and the poetry, and the two documents that you need, the one with the painting, and then the other one with your draft of your prose and your draft of your poetry, and you type them in. And now you also know how to access live worksheets. And I want you to uh, remember, please type in your email so that I can give you emails about the worksheets. And then, of course, try the worksheets. Do them in order. Follow the agenda each day. The agenda tells you which worksheets to do. Don't do the wrong ones. Okay? Good. Well, I hope uh, I hope that that was helpful. Uh, I hope you're staying healthy and safe. Um, maybe you can do something fun uh, with your family. My family, we've been trying to play games and do puzzles together. Uh, we've been eating together, staying together, and spending a lot of time together. Um, and it's been it's been pretty good so far. Anyway, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next class, okay?